back at it again today. Hey, good morning, YouTube. Make sure you subscribe, like, and hit that comment. All right, turn on your bell notifications also so you can get our videos. We want to thank you for being with us again today. This morning, we're going to talk about the preamp again. But today, what I want to talk about is my P base and understanding how to develop um, the transition of sound that you want without a preamp. And I think a good way of doing that is through the P-Base, all right? Because the P-Base does not have a preamp, but what it does, it has a control panel that has a volume knob and a tone knob. So with the tone knob, if you can learn to adjust the tone knob to get what you want in the sound, it'll make it easier for you on the jazz bass. Okay, what's on this? I have the Fender Mexi P-Base. All right, and this Fender Mexi P-Base I have. Um, hip shop tuners with a drop D, which I never use, all right? I have a maple on maple neck. I have an alder body. I think there's some type of lake plastic blue or something like that, I don't know. Um, but again, you have a volume knob and you have a tone knob. So here, what I'm gonna do is play a song and show you how I can I'm gonna go over the um, my Fender P bass with no preamp just a volume and a tone knobs, all right? And what I wanna do, I wanna show you how to develop your own tone from the P bass. James Jamerson was great for doing that. He only had a tone knob and a volume knob, that's it. But he created his own sound through his hands, through the body of the bass, the Fender bass, and through understanding there was more of the the bottom of the tone not not really any trouble but just the bottom Now, no preamp. 
So as you can see, I'm able to do everything but just rolling one knob. All right, so I'm gonna take it all the way to the front. Slap on a free bass, not true, but anyway. So, I just want to show you a, bit, a good way to learn is forget an expensive jazz booty bass. If you're trying to learn how to dial in your own tone, get you a P bass, two buttons, two knobs, volume, tone. Practice getting in the tone you want. James Jamerson played that, that bottom end tone, so to where you're not, you're not getting so much highs, it's just that. A lot of people in the studio play P-Bass and roll it all the way to the front and, and let the engineer do everything for them. Do everything for them. So what I want to do everything for them. So what I want to suggest is get your P-Bass. My son Jimmy got me this P-Bass and I thank him very much for my birthday, I think, two years ago. Jim, good looking out for Pops, man. All right, you and your, your mom. And, and your wife. I appreciate you guys 100%. All right, so good looking out, brother. All right, but I want to make sure that you subscribe, like, and share our content, our videos. Make sure you give us that thumbs up. Also, make sure that bell notification is turned on. You have been on with Bass Little J of the Bass Little J channel. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you very much.